you might say that that the spirit just has one purpose, and that is uh, to extract you from the you that you believe you are in this world back into the light that is all that there is. So daily, whether we're aware of it or not, there's an extraction process going on. We're being extracted back to heaven, uh, whether we're conscious of it or not. And it's a good, nice thought. You know, it's a good thought to wake up with or fall asleep with. I'm being extracted back into the allness of everything that is. It seems like in the last 20, 25 years, the last quarter of a century, I've just had so many encounters with so many beloved brothers and sisters all around the world, and our joining together is, is a quickening in this extraction process. It's not a real extraction because you, you can't really leave who you are in reality, so it's just an imaginary extraction process, and it's it's sometimes a little uncomfortable for the ego, but then again, the ego is not real either. So, you know, there's nothing really to to mourn or regret or lament uh, with this ongoing cleansing of our mind and washing of of everything that we have in consciousness. We actually want this. We we want a, a good thorough rinse. Uh, Wash away all that is not of you, God. Wash away every thought that would be a block to your pure love and light. And um, I remember uh, meeting Eric and um, we became instant friends and then the more we joined our minds, the, the same extraction process that I went through, he went through. He was going after chasing the American dream. He had a career. He was a hypnotherapist. He had a house. He had a mortgage. Uh, he had credit card debt. And he was going for the dream. And then um, it seems like when we came together, he started to see that that, that really wasn't the dream he wanted to go for deep in his heart. He He really wanted to experience uh, the deep love that we all share and that is our natural state and so he went through a, a pretty quick extraction uh, that was pretty intense including a, an arranged marriage by the spirit to a woman that he had never met in 13 days just the look on his face when she t told of the guidance to get married in 13 days and he'd never met her uh, it was a priceless look. Uh, it was a bit staggered and stunned, but, but, but the spirit moves quick. If you really are about being unwound from this world and you really have a sincere call in your heart to, to drop the world and to move into this awareness, then, then the events that will seem to follow may seem strange from the world's perspective, but, uh, but actually I've I've had that same experience over the years that the spirit moves very, very swiftly when your heart is sincere. And there was no delay in the spirit. The spirit. You know, when his mind came through this extraction process, then it, his guitar and his voice could then be used in a beautiful way uh, to just herald eternity, uh, to sing about the things that we all care about the most and a lot of stuff is poured through him from that point but he had to he had to let go of some things that were distracting him so that he could really tune in to the spirit be a channel for the spirit in his way uh, mostly through singing but also in in many other ways in teaching as well and that's just all symbolic it's not that there's any specific form that any of us have to go through because it's highly individualized but but we could say we could summarize it it seems to be from the ego perspective it's a letting go letting go of the familiar letting go of the what seems comfortable in the world another way so. you could think of it is like beam me up scotty you know <laughs> at some point we get to a point where we really want to go up in the tractor beam of love and it's one of those beam me up experiences it's a bit uh, the ego can react quite strongly to those kind of things because it seems to be a, a dissolving away of 
of what of something that the ego had or something that the ego possessed or even knew and <laughs> when you get into this love it's more of a dissolving away of everything that you think you know about everything in this world and it's it's sometimes tempting to to interpret this emptying out as uh, as something that something real is being taken away but that's actually not what's happening at all it's more that your mind's just coming into wholeness and integration and it had forgotten the wholeness and integration so it's actually just coming back to what it already <coughs> already knew it already had it was already natural it was already there it was always there but this is more of a kind of a rising up in consciousness and awareness to come into that <coughs> 